right guys, thank you for checking out another video. We've been on the grind, we've been slaving on this car, all kinds of installs going on. But today we're going to be installing coilovers and a FDF angle kit. So, I'm um, so pumped to finally have this kit. It's a pretty simple install for the most part. Uh, not install, but pretty much uh, disassembling the stock. It's pretty simple. They just got these. This is a 21 mil bolt. You just gotta pretty much undo those. And then from the top, it's just those, I think there are 10 mil, three of them. But these are pretty much, these are quite frustrating to get them out, especially if you never broke them loose before. But I've put coilovers on this car. I've airbagged it, so. They should be pretty good, but they do look a little rusty. They got spider webs and everything. So, yep, for the most part, it should be pretty simple to take it off. So it should be pretty simple to take it off, but putting it on might be a little different. Might be a little difficult, I've never done it. But from the video I've seen, it was pretty simple. And yeah, the only thing I was worried about is not having a top hat, because I've seen another Mustang that needed a top hat, but it didn't come with one. So I hope that doesn't run into an issue, but yep, let's get at it. And like that, those bolts are pretty much out. But I'm telling you, if you never messed with those bolts, those bolts are in there so good. Like if you never played with them, never took your suspension off, they're, they're a pain in the ass. So I'm glad I've had in the past and these came out really easy. <laughs> but after those two bolts, the whole, uh, Rotor will pretty much just connect from the coil over. So let's get that done. Let's take the whole suspension out because we're not using any of that. Instead of, yeah, disconnecting, they got all new arms, control, everything. So, yep. And like that, pretty much it is all disassembled. Um, There's a lot more bolts to it. There's like, uh, there's that bolt down there and they're all uh, 18 mil. There's that one, that link. You have power tools, you can knock it out pretty quick. I've only been at it probably like 30 minutes or so. Let's slap the new coil over in. Ooh -hoo -hoo that shit is about to look so crazy. I'm so glad I actually went with powder coating them instead of just getting I got basic color, they're steel or aluminum color, whatever it is. It's gonna pop. You're not gonna see it that much, but I don't know. At least to me, it's gonna be crazy. But damn, that looks good. The BC coilover and the FDF angle kit. That's gotta get the rotor and everything connected to the front. Just trying to see how everything goes. The brake lines. This, this, the quality of this FDF is, is pretty fucking insane. They, they go the extra mile, honestly, with building some good shit. They, they literally hook you up with all the links and all that, the bolts, everything. So, huge shout out to them. Got the rotor off. And if you guys are ever doing it, it's a 36 mil for the fronts. And the backs are pretty sure are 32 mils. Because I've done the back before I had to change my axles. So I was assuming it's the same. But negative. The fronts are 36 mil and the backs are 32 mils. So if you guys are ever changing rotors or whatever axles on a mustang 2015 there you guys go so got that done now it's time to slap this rotor on to the new uh strut and everything but there it is i just gotta do the rotor and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little up close in case you guys are doing this on your Mustang. How everything connects. These go there. There's joints in there. Focus. And then in there. And then these mount up to there. So, for the most part, it's pretty simple, but 
I mean, it's a learning experience, especially if you've never done it before. And then these two, like it adds camber and everything. It, it, this kit is so well like thought through. So you can add camber from just that little plate right there. Even from here, there's a lot. So yeah, very time consuming. A lot of work to do, especially if you want it done the right way. And you don't want your fucking some goofy ass alignment and everything plus. So, and for the brakes, the kit comes with um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it, little spacers for the brakes. Because if you don't put it in, it's gonna pretty much just the bolt will be against the rotor. And yeah, it's obviously not gonna work out. So, yeah, those spacers go on the back, and then it's pretty much I just gotta uh, connect my ABS line and throw a wheel on there. Damn. That's it's pretty fucking sick. That's quite a bit of angle, honestly. Damn. I'm so pumped on having that angle kit finally. Finally installing it. Ah, uh, damn. looks pretty crazy it adds quite a bit of camber and not even it's like on the neutral setting right now so it's not even like full cambered I guess where it can be maxed out you gotta get a little the strut or the rotor right there and then how far it is out here so it pushes them out quite a bit which that's what I wanted that's why I went with a nine and a half and I was uh, yeah, I guess I could add maybe like a half inch spacer So Yep Still got to bolt everything down completely and pretty much torque them I just wanted to see how it fits and everything so I can knock that side out and Should be a lot easier a lot faster since I've done that side It's pretty easy, but yeah doing everything your first time is not gonna be I guess easy or fast so It's time-consuming but at the end of the day, I'm happy because I did it myself and it's coming out good. <laughs> Woo. Stressful, man. Got me over here sweating and everything, but finally seeing it done, got a little smile on my face. Now to tackle this side. It should be a lot easier since I did that side. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking so excited to have this car done and drive it. I still gotta do the handbrake, a lot of work, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully I'm filming it good enough and making it look good, I guess.